Hello everyone and welcome back to my life in defiance This week I'll be showing you uh, or at least today I'll be showing you the episode content um, On the community uh, page the devs des described it as uh, an irradiant uh, I don't know the exact the pronunciation vagabond something like that it has been added to uh, the episode Sfushi Nira um, Pursuit and it's called Silencing the Piper So according to this pursuit we need to do six missions uh, The first one you can uh, start fairly easily For as you can see it is right here uh, this is the Iron Demon range, so just 500 meters or so, and you can get to the mission. So uh, in today's playthrough, I'll just be going Got through them. Of a sighting near you. Take a look around and see what you see. We'll just uh, play through these missions and find out what we can. So, for those of you who uh, have been following the show, and I'm going to have to uh, call spoilers otherwise, we'll be. Uh, There's no one here. The fire burned out several hours ago, and it appears the camp was tossed. Someone was looking for the camper. Let's take a look around. We'll uh, have a visitor around. Uh, as far as I know, it's Win. Who you might know for trying to blow up. I wonder if this is connected to the abnormal hellbug behavior that Cooper mentioned. I'll send this data to Aaron to find out what she knows. I have received your data. I am sending information to your ego device that will allow you to trace it. Please see where it leads. I received Aaron's data and have marked where the trail ends. So uh, Wynn was the one who tried to blow up Defiance. Uh, of course, she also attacked some people using the Albuk uh, attack pheromones. She got imprisoned for it, and seeing as it's just a little bit past release time, they must have been after whoever was camped here. Let's take a look around. So, seeing as um, I haven't seen this week's episode yet, it isn't out for another well seven hours, something like that. I'm expecting that uh, Rin escaped from the transport. There are no signs that this soldier was shot. Analysis shows that he's covered in Hellbug pheromone. But where are the Hellbugs? So, uh, might just be us trying to capture her again. Interesting. There are footprints leading away from camp. Someone got away from this fight. Somehow. Rathus Parabba just hailed me and said there's one hell of a gunfight going on near his ranch. Says E-Reps are there, but they aren't Grant's men. Get over there and find out what's going on. So, uh, this is the first time that I'm doing episodic missions. I know that uh, before the series was released, you could do some with Erisa and Grant and... Uh, And uh, Nolan, but uh, I only started after the first episode was released, so I haven't been able to see those. Don't do anything stupid, Rin. The brass wants you intact, so just come out. Another chance, your hunt. So uh, let's take a. Step back because there are too many to attack at once. So also uh, for the first time released is the Suvinira Tilling the Hurt contract which uh, should be released two weeks ago but they didn't because I think they wanted to uh, prolong that co-op 
mission contract for a bit. Not quite sure why, but probably because some people couldn't get to the content quick enough. So I must say, these uh, e-webs are pretty we need to clear this area tough process. when in numbers. But um, together with the hellbox, they are pretty annoying, I have to say. Especially seeing as we have electric ones, which of course disable my hut. So like I said, those electric ones are pretty annoying. Mostly because of the fact, I have to be honest, I mean, Skittlings don't do that much damage, so it's not like those are the problem. So, um, of course, we get attacked by a monarch, which is annoying enough. But we have to fight it in confined quarters, which, of course, is never a good thing. Seeing as it's pretty big and hard enough to avoid. To admit this combination is getting quite efficient. So, yeah, I have to admit. I usually have to get pretty lucky with Helping monarchs. But I am not going to prison. Put it down. Slowly. Judging from your getup, I think you know the next step too. Hands to the arc belt. Are you going to be as nice as the last lawkeeper and let me go? Doubtful. That's funny. He had the exact same gun. He liked to point it at me too. Also doubtful. Only a few carrying these. Nolan, I think was his name. Nolan? A law keeper? Eh, can't be the same guy. Are you talking about Josh Nolan? Why should I believe he let you go? I saved his life. And his mayor girlfriend. And he has a girlfriend? <laughs> Dressed in a basket. Are you going to arrest me? I'm deciding. Why is e rep after you? They want to know how to properly control hellbugs. They're bad at it. I'm not. This e rep unit followed me across the waste. So, they're not Grant's men? Nope. Don't know who that is. Colonel Hampton Gretsch's unit. Hammerhead, huh? He's a goddamn lunatic. Bad business for paradise with him around. You may have earned Nolan's trust, young lady, but not mine. Yet. Consider yourself on probation. Law can't cross E-Rep, not even the bad kind. So you're gonna help figure out what the hell is going on. See what you can find out about Project Piper. I'll let Erin know what you're up to and see if she can help. I'll keep my eye on this one.
So, like I said at the beginning of the episode, there will be some spoilers within. And some of it won't be my fault. So, uh, if you haven't seen the episode yet, well, you at least know how she got away. And I'm sure he'll have good reason. But, like I was saying, I usually don't have this that much luck with uh, monarchs. Oh boy. It's not really a matter of me not killing it. I mean, once you know how to deal with them, they are pretty easy to kill. But you have to have a bit of luck with getting them down so you can hit the weak spots. If they don't go down that often, then you will... Well, I will mostly run out of ammo because, uh, as you can see, I don't do that much damage on the unprotected spots. But, uh, otherwise, they are not too hard. So, I guess we have a little bug with the hut, seeing as it keep getting stuck. But we'll just activate the next mission and see uh, how it goes. I've located the objective. Time to move. I must say the rewards are quite nice until now. I mean, yeah, they're not the best of everything, as far as I can guess. But at the very least, I'm getting some gear instead of just mods. I mean, I already completed the main mission and I'm just getting mods lately from the side mission. But uh, sadly enough, we can't uh, take Ark Salvage from it, so some actual stuff is nice. Now we need to find the data recorder, shouldn't be too hard. First data recorder I have to hold to interact. Very intriguing data. I have sent your ego another location to investigate. So if this keeps up, we'll be going pretty hard to the part missions. I'm guessing it's just a side effect uh, from getting some data. So, um, let's see what else we can find. I'll play back a new data recorder in the meantime. So uh, enjoy. Hampton, Hammerhead Gretch. You look like shit, you old dog. <laughs> Sir, at ease. Can't get used to those extra stars on your shoulders, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's something, huh? Ham, I got an assignment I think is right up your pipe. With my new rung on the ladder, I get to see some files most officers will never lay eyes on. Project Piper. E rep reviving the marching band was well, an EMC experiment. His tech named Peter Nardone figured out a way to control hell bugs with sound waves. At least he claimed he could. I want you to take a platoon out to claim his lab and relaunch this project. What do you think? Those hell bugs will be tap dancing and feeding at grapes by the time I'm done. And, uh, Gretch, I don't have to be concerned about your, uh, Mind, do I? You buying into that bullshit? Come on, it's me. So, uh, okay. that was just long okay. enough to entertain you. Let's see what this has to say. I know where to go. Let's roll. I'll check out the gear I get a little bit later. 
I mean, I got pretty, pretty decent stuff, even if this should be better. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. So, um... So I have to admit a bit of a disadvantage of doing everything this quickly is finding a lot of players around can get a bit annoying sometimes but at least you won't get overwhelmed too easily. So normally I would go a little bit closer with the fast travel, but I'll take the long way. And I'll just uh, play you the next data recorder. Just got transferred from Manhattan. It's the Gretchen's wacky as they say. Hammerhead? Yeah. He'll cut his own men and make gumbo if they disappoint. Do yourself a favor and get and go with him. Shit. been brought out here to Angel Island to be part of a hybrid fighting alliance like none the E-Rep has ever seen. You may be asking yourself, what is that innate screeching that's ripping into your ear? That is Project Piper. Hellbug! Stand down. That Hellbug's an E-Rep soldier just like you. I am control- I can't control it, sir! Ah, Christ! Kill the bug! Well, you can kill the goddamn noise now. Back to the fucking drawing board. So, apparently they really didn't succeed with their control experiment. At least not in the beginning. Of course, we don't know exactly when this was recorded, so... We'll just have to see. So I'm uh, I'm seeing this as the third shield that we will get. So I'm guessing every shield has its own different things. We'll have to look into it before we do anything else. Like I said, doing this when a lot of lots of players are doing this does give you the advantage of uh, other players nearby who can help. So at least we don't have. Too many uh, hostiles trying to kill you at once. We'll have some help from other players. This is very intriguing data. I have sent your ego another location to investigate. So, for this one, a same story. Project Piper has been a failure and an embarrassment. What do you have to say for yourself? Excuse me, sir. What the fuck do you want? Uh, sir, I came across a wanted listing that may interest you. An Arathia <gasps> named Rin was arrested for orchestrating a hellbug attack down in Defiance. She used pheromones to control them. Whatever that is. You ever go hunting, Private? That deer piss that you rub all over yourself? Pheromones. Get going! So apparently the let's go earn some script. But uh let's also stay alive this bandit. Well I'll just ignore it for now. Can always do it one later. Especially Hellbug ones. Seeing as uh, the season is going, we can find them pretty easy. 
but uh, according to the data I'm hearing, I'm guessing that the experiments are fairly recent, so uh, might interest you because it might just might show up in the show in the future. And if I'm hearing this all correctly, then Ewap just might be one of the bandits in the future. Like a corrupt government or something. We'll have to see. I put our objective on the map. Let's go. So, four different shields. I'm curious what they do. We'll have to see. This is where Aaron said we may find some Project Piper data. We should look around the area. Oh boy. So I have to admit that these people tend to be a bit hard to defeat. But then again, dark matter is also not the easiest to take down, so I guess it comes with the territory. I know exactly where that is. It is under Angel Island. This Earth Republic unit does not know what they are doing. So before they do something unspeakable, we must thwart their efforts. So this sounds quite interesting. Apparently we have a bit of a diluted project right here around the corner. We just have to see. I believe it's also already the latest mission so shouldn't take us too much to get everything done. And then of course you can all enjoy the episode later on when it comes out. If this is uploaded before then. The Ereps show no respect for nature. The bugs hold more honor than them. Let's shut this shtako down. So I'm guessing this is going to take a bit longer than expected. If we have to go into a bunker. Then again. It's nice for episodic content to last a bit longer. I mean, weekly new content is only fun if you can enjoy it for a bit. Everyone delay here. I will access the security console and find where they have stationed the Piper project. I shall return shortly. I'll keep my eye on the Indogene. the bunker's map. Project Piper is in a room on the northwest side. Shoo. This is not going as well as it could. Then again, it still isn't that bad. Help. 
so let's see. I have to admit this isn't too handy. Them to reload. So that at least we can take out a few of those. I must say they have quite low shields for compared to how much health they have. No idea why that's the case, but we only have to take out one more, I guess, and then we'll continue to the next room. It appears they have initiated a systems lockdown. I will need to bypass the doors. So, I think we are getting close. Yes. This smells like a trap. Give me a moment to get these doors open. Help! I need help over here. So, did you hear that? So of course we once again get attacked by way too many people with almost no cover to speak of. So um, I must say it's quite annoying sometimes how you always get attacked whenever you're not around any cover. I mean, I don't, I don't mind getting a bit cut out of some cover, but if the only way to get to cover in time is to uh, go invisible or something, well, I don't really want to rely that much on one power. It's a bit uh, strange, to be honest. It's hard enough to get there, so. So the only advantage which we have is that they uh, messed up a bit, so the Hellbox will attack just about anyone, which I think quite an advantage in this case, at least it will distract some of the E-Webs. So let's see what else we have to conquer. First let's take out any control they might have about a whole box. And take another wood because this is not going to go well. So let's see if we can use this door. Because if not, then we'll have to do this the hard way. I 
I don't really want to. This church can be pretty annoying without the soldiers there to uh, help them, so... Like I said, church can be pretty annoying just without any soldiers helping them, helping them whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, no. So at least the church get distracted by my companions. Which is pretty useful. If you don't want to die instantly. As you can see, it's quite a challenge to uh, take down these e webs without getting blasted too much. And once again. The only thing you really can do is just go to the right position and hope. That you don't get overwhelmed because you can't really run away anymore. Like I said, it's a bit difficult when you can't run to any other places because, well, that would be a suicide. So let's see if we can take this one out. Even it's if it's only for a little while. They only have to be taken out long enough for me to uh, get this thing down. We'd better scout ahead, or we're going to get the Indogene killed. Coming out of the walls. Target spotted. So nice showing you. I have to say it's quite annoying fighting Hobbits in confined space. Before today I never really had to handle them. I always had the luxury of um, fighti fighting them outside and of course that means not doing all that much. We have made it. On the other side of this door is the Piper room. The Piper device will be protected by a shield, but there is a way to get around it. There are two codes that need to be entered simultaneously. Once that is done, the shield will be eliminated and I can begin shutting down the Piper device. I'll cover the Indogene. You take the other console. There it is. Now move your ass! And 
other words, this is going to be a challenge. So, like I said, getting some cover when you get into a fight is pretty challenging. Especially if you get surrounded from all sides, as is usually the case. This, of course, also means that it's fairly easy for others to take you out. So this should be enough to take most of them out. So let's see if the attacks at least will stop by killing the Piper devices. So let's see, only one more. And at least that should take care of the hellbug attacks. I have to say it's quite interesting to see uh, a Hellbug mate when up close without having to attack it. But something tells me that's not good. At least not uh, if you want to live. Without Hellbox attacking you on command. So I have to say that these uh, usually you, you develop a fighting technique, one which works with that kind of enemies and I have to say these are the first types of enemies that don't really look that easy to me as the other ones. I mean, yeah there are quite a bit few which are annoying. For example, the dark matter ones, but at least they have low health. You only have to break through the shield, and one place, one crack placed grenade can take quite a lot of them out of the equation. Don't want to get attacked by hellbox in the back. Is five forty seven eighteen five. Enter it now. Damn right. That did it. Get back here now. Things are getting out of control. Stacco. Stat. We have a problem. Hurry the hell. Shoo. That didn't sound quite alright. 
must say uh, I'm really getting to enjoy the amount of content we got this week. I mean, I'm already... I'm already uh, almost 45 minutes in and I'm still finding some uh, content to do which is quite a lot for just one week worth if you ask me that could come from this project would be exceptionally useful. For someone like Colonel Gretsch, that man has no honor. But I can see that people like you make this place worth sticking around. But not if something like this exists, Indo. Destroy it. Consider it done. So, uh, as you can see, that's all for this week's episode content. We'll just uh, look at the pursuit for a second. As you can see, we've got them all done. We've gotten the ego rating. We even gotten ourselves a new title. Now, let's look at the loot. At the moment, I have this one equipped. Well, it doesn't have the best capacity. It does have a 25% HP regen, which is quite good if you ask me. And it recharges real fast. It only it takes 40% a second and you only have a delay of 3 seconds. So seeing that, I'll just uh, use the compare tool. This is quite good, except for the fact that 6 seconds is quite a lot. I usually can hide for about 5 seconds before I get shot again. Which means that I get 80% of my shield. And with this I'll just die. So don't really like this one. The second one of course has a lot more capacity. So you don't really need to worry about the 6 seconds, you mostly can heal, but only 10%. No, it's not something I like. You can, with, with a heavier shield it can be, it is a bit of a gamble to take 6 seconds or more, but it's doable as long as the recharge rate is high enough to compensate for the fact that you can't hide long. This one, same manner, if, if this one had been on a 6 second delay, I probably would have taken it. I mean, fire is quite annoying. A lot of people kill you with it in uh, PvP. Because as long it still does damage even after you've uh, gotten out of their crosshairs or killed them. So, But 9.6 seconds is really way too long. And this one would have been ideal, if not for the long time again. So, uh, four shields. Don't like any of them. I'll uh, check this one. I'm not exactly sure what this make, what makes this a blue one. It looks okay, but it still has 30 seconds refresh time. 
maybe the duration is a bit longer, the snare is a bit higher, but I don't really like using snare grenades. I just use explosions or fire. I prefer explosions because I usually can aim them pretty good. And this one is strange. I don't know the damage because as you can see it uh, doesn't really show. I'll just uh, break everything down for a second so I don't have a full event inventory anymore. And then I'll just uh, test these new stuff. New grenades that I've gotten. I haven't seen any of them. I've seen uh, four kinds of grenades until now, which are the standard frag grenades, which just explode. Five. My apologies. These biochargers, which slow enemies down. We have fire grenades, which just make patches of fire. Flashbangs, which are okay in PvP, I guess. I haven't used them yet. And of course the cluster grenade, which is a fur grenade, which explodes in three different bombs. Quite funny to use. So, um, I think I'm going to hold on to this one. This just might be a very useful uh, grenade. If you're bad at aiming. Of course I can just try it out somewhere. It uh, should be quite easy, nice if you are a bad aim with grenades. Or if you're using infector weapons. I guess this should increase your damage output. Don't know how it will work with bug control or something. I, I haven't really used them. They are quite um, popular, especially in PvP, but I myself uh, prefer the assault rifle and the shotgun in PvP and the saw and another kind of shotgun in PvE. And of course, I also have a sniper rifle, which I sometimes use with the BMG and but otherwise, I don't really use most of the weapons. I only use four. Two for PvP and two for PvE. And I have a few weapons of convenience, but nothing really which I have trained. Of course, you can also see this in my stats. I have quite a lot in... Light machine guns, a bit in assault rifles, shotguns of different kinds, sort of shotgun and a bit in bolt action, sniper rifles and otherwise it's just low level. Haven't really used it. We've got multiple targets. Let's take them out. Let the world know of your righteousness. So, 200 damage piece. Not bad. But this is better, seeing as how I can aim. And of course, it uh, helps that it does a bit more damage. So, that's the episodic content for this week. If you have any questions, you can send them to mail at healthwife.com or you can leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you again.